Seven people have been killed while walking along Chattanooga roadways this year. That number is three times more than last year and is one of the highest in the last decade. All of those cases involve drivers who didn't stop. Investigators sat down with Channel 3's Michelle Heron about two cases that remain unsolved and how you can help. Two heavily traveled roads, both home to a hit and run. In both cases, police say a person walking along the road lost their life and the driver didn't stop. We just need closure. Jeffrey Harris's body was found on the side of Highway 153 between Jersey Pike and Shallowford Road in July. The 51 year old sister sat down with us after he was identified. He was left on the side of the road to die. That is not a death that I would wish upon anyone. Sergeant Tommy Sider has spent the last four months trying to figure out who hit Harris, but says without the public's help, he won't be able to answer Harris's family's questions. We don't have a lot of scene evidence. We don't have anybody that was there that's telling us what happened. Our victim can't speak. Um, a lot of roadway evidence we don't have. Six and a half miles away on Eli Road sits another scene and more questions. This is where Roger Jones was hit and killed while walking to his mother's house one night in May. His mother spoke with us after his body was found. The worst thing I could picture went through my mind about my son. The worst scenarios that I could think of about him getting run over by a car. Traffic investigator Chris Mullinex is in charge of Jones's case. He says the little bit of evidence he does have isn't enough to find who is responsible. There were a few pieces of plastic. We were able to take the serial number from that piece of plastic and figure out um, a make and model and the year range um, of the car that was involved in the, the crash. He's looking for a dark colored Hyundai Sonata made between 2010 and 2014 that has or had extensive damage to the front. Both men are working toward the same goal solving these cases and giving these families the closure they deserve. That was Michelle Heron reporting. If you have any information that can help solve these cases, you can report it in anonymously by calling the police department's tip line. That number is 423-643-5100.